everyone that I'm going to show you how to make a card using the Simon Says Stamp October kit and uh, so I'm going to narrate through the uh, video to kind of give you some steps on how to make this beautiful card. I'm showing you the items in this kit. Um, there will be a link in the description box down below. Uh, unfortunately this kit is sold out but you are able to buy the uh, products individually. Now here you see me uh, spraying uh, Lindy's uh, Stamp Game Spray in the air incandescent copper color onto maple leaves that I cut out with my Silhouette Cameo, um, which is a electronic uh, cutting machine. I love that machine. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm crunching them up to make them look like they're old dried leaves that you find and pick up all along the ground in autumn which happens to be my favorite time of the year. Now that I have those completed, I went ahead and cut out some uh, uh, flowers using the paper pack that was provided in the kit. This paper pack is from My Mind's Eye, um, and it's called, uh, it doesn't tell me what it's called, it just says it's from My Mind's Eye. I'm assuming it's called Blush, but not sure. But what I done was is I uh, picked out a flower uh, from my cameo silhouette cameo library and I cut it out in various sizes that were provided to make a three-dimensional flower. Now I'm crunching up the edges to make them look more rugged, more uh, distressed and everything. And uh, it really, really makes your flower look different and gives it fullness. Now I'm inspecting some of the product that come in there. Uh, that little jar of stuff uh, was the Ranger Multi Matte Medium. And now I'm using the embossing pen by Ranger because I want to emboss using the beautiful blue embossing powder that was provided in the kit. It is called Simon Says Stamps Jar Navy Embossing Powder. It's a new color and it has a gorgeous shimmer to it. Just wait until I uh, wait till you see it here in just a moment. Look at that shine. I am really in love with this embossing powder. So I did this for uh, on the solid pieces of the cardstock. Now the blue cardstock I'm using was provided in the kit. Now the cardstock I will be using for the base of the card is from my personal collection that I showed you at the beginning of the uh, video. Now I'm going to get uh, start assembling the flower in various layers and working with the different patterns of paper. Now this paper that comes in the kit is um, double sided so that lends to tons of possibilities. Now the ink pad I'm using is uh, just a metallic copper ink pad. Um, it is from Prima. Um, they're, it's their chalk edgers, and I'm just—it's just a simple copper metallic. You can find any copper metallic uh, ink pad at most any craft store. Um, it is a common color, and it just added a little more copper to the already beautiful um, embossed paper. My choice of assembling this flower is using hot glue. You are more than welcome to use any type of adhesive you feel comfortable with, a dry adhesive, liquid adhesive. I just chose hot glue. And if you're wondering, the hot glue gun that I'm using is my go-to one. It's the Sure Bonder Detailed Tip Glue Gun, and I'll leave a link to uh, in the description box to where you can order one. 
Now here I have got some silver lined seed beads that I've had in my collection for quite a while. And I am just doing a generous amount of hot glue in the center of the flower and sprinkling those seed beads. And I'm going to let them set aside while I do other parts for this card. Now I'm inking the edges of these leaves with the same uh, copper metallic uh, ink. Uh, yeah, see I had a fupa on my ink pad. For some reason those little ink pads, they come off of the plastic and I don't understand why but I had a little fupa on that. But I still managed to get my ink on, my, on uh, the leaves. I'm going back through and just crunching them up a little bit more because they're still just a tad bit damp from the incandescent copper spray. Now I'm fixing to cut my uh, cardstock. Now this is the Coordinations cardstock. And what I like about Coordinations is that if you see the light blue strip there, if you are to tear it, sand it, cut it, rip it, you would see that light blue line or that light blue core and that's why I wanted to use this particular uh, paper is because I wanted to sand it and give it more of a rugged rustic look I had a little pr uh, trimmer error there and I'm cutting this card at a six by six and then I'm going to be cutting um, the next matte piece will be a uh, let's see they come in this kit. It's called Burnished Rose Mirrored Cardstock. Um, I'm going to try to find that because it's really, really beautiful in person. And then the next piece I cut out is from the pattern paper itself. And I just chose one that would um, uh, complement the flower and uh, the details I plan on putting on this. And as you see, I'm just cutting them down. Um, you know down matting them you know smaller and smaller now I'm going to begin to like I said uh, sand the edges of this coordination paper and as I sand that light blue color will start appearing it kind of looks like worn blue jean um, and I really like it now I'm just using an average emery board to do this process Okay, now I'm going to begin to mat the uh, two pieces of paper, and I'm just using score tape. Score tape is my number one um, double-sided tape I absolutely love and use in almost all of my projects. Now I've decided to add some more of that metallic copper um, to the edges of this paper um, to again um, blend so that it will blend beautifully with the other pieces that I have uh, inked the edges with. And I'm just using a little bit of piece of paper towel to do it. You don't have to have everything fancy and a tool for everything. And now it's time to uh, reveal the center of that flower by dumping those seed beads back in there. 
and uh, it's going to be the center of the focal point of the card. I'm pulling out some leaves, those leaves we worked with, and this is just a piece of nylon rope that I have separated, and now I'm just gluing uh, pieces of it down. Um, and I want it to look flowy and, you know, uh, rustic and ruggy. Um, I really, really like that look against this type of paper. As you can see, I'm spreading it around, just making the edges spray out a little bit and everything. Now I'm uh, applying the leaves. Now this kit come with a flower die and um, it is called the Simon Says Stamp Exclusive Spiral Flower Wafer Die. And uh, so I cut out uh, from the paper that was provided in the kit, I cut out the copper uh, part because I wanted these flowers to be copper. I'm using my little um, sapphire um, die cutting machine it's absolutely wonderful for these little uh, pieces and little projects like these little flowers and stuff it doesn't take up a bunch of room and it's absolutely amazing I love this little sapphire um, die cutting machine and I'm gonna be cutting out three of these and uh, what I like about this flower particular die is that the negative can is also beautiful as well as a positive and they both can be used as flowers and uh, I really like dyes that give you double the money and this happens to be one of them and then of course you have to clean them up and poke out uh, the little centers and everything Okay, now I put them on a piece of paper uh, that's resistant and then I'm adding some hot glue and I'm gonna sprinkle some of those same brown seed beads that I had on the big flowers so that they coordinate. And it's really, really, really a cool effect um, using your hot glue to do this. Or you can use rhinestones or you can leave them as they are. I just chose to use seed beads. Now I'm about to make a sentiment and this is a stamp set that come in this kit um, and it's really nice uh, stamp set and uh, I'm using this sentiment you are loved um, and I'm making my own little banner um, and I will be embossing this sentiment using the same navy blue embossing powder that was provided in the kit but first I gotta get those seed beads off my table and as you see they turned out really pretty.
Now to make sure my measurements or my sides are accurate, I'm just cutting um, a length on each side so that it's nice and straight. And then I'll cut two little tails in um, the ends and also ink this with the same copper metallic um, ink that I have done throughout this card. Now as far as making an envelope for this one, I did not show that in this tutorial, but I am going to make an envelope for it using my envelope maker. Um, I've just got to find the right piece of paper I want to use. But now I'm installing the three flowers that I made. And you always want to keep things in um, odd numbers because it's so pleasing to the eye. It's kind of like the rule of thumb in crafting, just to keep uh, so that everything uh, placement is beautiful so I only made three of these gorgeous flowers I intend to make more of these because they're absolutely stunning and as you can see on the side there those are the negatives of the flowers and they too are beautiful as well and easy to use in another project so don't throw away your scraps now I'm installing the sentiment and I see that I need a little more in that top right hand corner and it's perfect for a leaf and as you see I'm installing it and I'm calling this card done. So I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see y'all in the next one and let me know what you think. Until then, bye bye.